So I'm about to head into campus. I've actually got my GP placement in person today, which is really exciting because that hasn't happened since October. I think we're gonna be practicing taking histories and also learning how to use our stethoscopes. We aren't actually in a GP practice. We're just gonna be in a classroom on campus. And there's only gonna be a few of us there because I think about half of my group are still at home, haven't come back to uni. So it's gonna be pretty low key, but I'm just excited to practice taking histories face to face rather than through a camera. So that isn't till two. Before that, I'm gonna do my lectures on campus. But I did want to let you know, I am a few days behind on my pre-recorded lectures. I've not had a good week. Um, it started on Saturday. I was watching TV with Jack and for some reason, we were literally just chilling. I hadn't even had anything to drink and my heart just started to beat really fast and I started to struggle to concentrate on the telly. It was like I was having a panic attack, but nothing had like obviously triggered it I, well, th from what I could see. Anyway, I spent all of Sunday trying to calm down and doing things like self-care things to make me feel relaxed. And I woke up Monday and I just felt worse. I didn't feel myself at all. I was really worried and my heart was beating fast again. So I tried to distract myself by doing lectures. That was such a bad idea because all of our lectures this week, ironically, are on the heart. I was doing this two hour anatomy lecture on the heart and my heart was beating really fast and I was trying to ignore it, but it just wasn't working and my heartbeat got really, really fast and I was quite scared. So being the drama queen I am, or maybe not, I rang 111. And when I rang 111, that didn't help either because when you ring it, it's like, if you have coronavirus, press one. If you want to order a COVID test, press two. And like literally the options were so many. Anyway, I ended up hanging up because that was just making me panic more. And I decided to ring my GP reception and had a conversation with the receptionist. She booked me in for a phone call appointment two hours after that. So I then got a phone call off the doctor and he had me taking my pulse over the phone. It was about 128 beats per minute. And so he said, okay, we'll get you in for an ECG and a blood test tomorrow morning. So that was Tuesday morning I went for that. And that was not fun because I was trying everything I could to calm down and be chill. And the minute I was like hooked up to the machine, I panicked and my heartbeat was just like boom, boom, boom. And yeah, my ECG, my heartbeat was really fast on that. And it was like 130, I think, went around that anyway. They prescribed me some beta blockers for the week because they think it's probably anxiety but we are waiting for the blood test results in case it's something to do with my thyroid or maybe anemia. Anyway, it is now Thursday and I'm starting to feel like myself again. So I thought I would vlog. I wasn't sure if I should, but basically I thought maybe having a distraction, something to focus on is gonna help. And like, I don't really feel stressed. It's weird. I don't, I feel like I'm pretty much like have everything under control. But I spoke to my mum and she thinks that maybe it's a build up of lots of little things and being in lockdown and it's stuff I don't really realise that's making me feel this way. So anyway, if it is anxiety and the blood tests come back fine, I just need to put in more things in place to take care of myself. This week I'm taking it really easy. I wasn't sure whether or not to tell you this because I feel like I don't really always want to share like things like this. But I feel like it's important to keep it real and I know I'm quite guilty of portraying this kind of always productive, always happy. So yeah, I thought I'd share that with you and I am feeling better today. I'm feeling more myself. I'm gonna pack my bag now, I'm gonna go to campus, but remember we're taking it easy, there's no rush, get some lectures done if I can and then go to my GP placement and hopefully have a really good time. <laughs> So when I got to campus, I managed to get through this two hour embryology lecture on the development of the heart. Please let me know in the comments your opinion on embryology because I find it so boring and the lectures drag so much. I don't know, maybe it's just not my cup of tea. Hey, look who it is! Star of the show. I'm gonna get a snack. Yeah. Have you got your stethoscope? What? I don't have my own. You don't have your own? Basically, I've nicked someone else's for the day. I thought you had your own. I had to send it back because it wasn't engraved properly. Oh, so you borrowed someone? Oh, oh, that's sad. Okay, don't tell anyone. Well, I've got my own. If you've watched my unboxing video, you will have already seen it. What one is it? Uh, it's is it like the turquoise? Litman Classic Free Turquoise, uh, like Caribbean Blue. I think I've got. I've borrowed the same one. Oh, we're gonna be matching. I feel like it might be.
Is it dyslexic data? <laughs> Um, a lot better than online. Yeah. Which isn't hard. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, joking. It was very good. It though. was a bit weird though, because there was three of us in person and two people in our group were on the computer. So it was like, they were like linked into the session. Yeah. Um, we have to do like, <laughs> they, them as the patients. Yeah, well, we were sat in the lecture hall. Okay, so I think I will have just put in some footage of me having to go using the stethoscope. Um, we were learning how to like listen to the lungs and sounds of breathings and talking about like what sounds to look out for. It was fun and also just nice to have some interaction. There was only three of us in the session. By the time we finished practicing taking histories, we only had like 10 minutes at the end to actually mess around with the stethoscopes. So it was a brief introduction, but I'm gonna get Jack to help me practice. Um, he's gonna be my by volunteer. Now I'm home, I think before dinner I am going to do a bit more work because basically I ordered a mini whiteboard or what I thought was a mini whiteboard off Amazon and it arrived yesterday and if you follow me on Insta you've probably seen this but it is not what I expected. I thought I was getting a A3, A4 size, I think I should probably read the description but I thought I was getting a small handheld whiteboard. I wanted to be able to do some like anatomy drawings, rub them out quickly and just like learn that way because I know a lot of people learn anatomy like that. Anyway, the whiteboard arrived and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show you. I mean, I thought it was literally gonna be A3 or A4, but this is what I got. This was 25 pound, which to be honest, is not a bad deal. I think it's gonna do the job really well. So I spent a bit of time having a go at recapping some anatomy from the last few weeks. I tried to draw anything I could from memory and then I looked up bits I've forgotten after in a textbook. I like how you don't have to worry about doing the perfect drawings, so I definitely think this is going to be something I'm going to be using a lot when it comes to revising for my exams this summer. So I'm in charge of dinner tonight and I've decided to make fake Nando's. <laughs> I never normally film this late in the day, but I thought I'd show you kind of what I get up to in the evening. Um, it does vary, but tonight I'm playing Animal Crossing. I'm just not the most committed Animal Crossing player. Like right now, my island is just not pretty. Um, yeah, I've got like a three star island. If uh, if you play Animal Crossing, you know what that means. I'm slowly making my island nice. It's just, it's just a work in progress at the moment. Look how cheesy this pillow is. It's me and Jack. He got it me for Christmas like two years ago. Oh my god, it's the most cheesy thing ever. Anyway, um, so tonight I'm playing Animal Crossing and I'm also currently watching some YouTube. So you probably know who this is. This is Everyday Anna. She's another medical student. Um, she's first year uh, at Birmingham University, I believe. You're probably already subscribed to her, but if you're not, you should definitely go check out her channel. I will link it below. I personally really love her vlogs and this is a weekly vlog but yeah that is what i'm getting up to this evening i think i'll end the vlog here i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>